Hey folks, I'm Andy Picker, or welcome and thanks for joining me here at The Mortal Guitarist. This is just a very brief introductory video to explain the, the concepts and ideas behind The Mortal Guitarist, which is basically this. I've had a love affair with these things for many, many years. I mean, we're talking decades here. But when anyone ever said to me, oh, how long have you been playing? I'd always get a bit shy about answering because, you know, I never felt as though I was as good as I should be. Now, part of this is because I have had the pleasure of knowing some very, very good guitar players over the years. And, you know, I got into playing at a time when there was no internet around, um, the limited numbers of magazines, and the, you know, there were a very, very small number of books available. So I bought my first guitar back when I was, what, 18, something like that. So a bit of a late starter in some ways. And I knew nobody who played. And I went out and I bought, I remember I had three books. I had Burt Whedon's famous Play in a Day, and I got a couple of books by a guy called, I think, Harvey Vinson. One was called Lead Guitar, one was called Rhythm Guitar. And to this day, I have not finished any of those three books. Um, I then bought a book with some sort of simple songs, you know, 101 songs for easy guitar, and couldn't figure out why any of the songs I was trying to play didn't sound anything like the, uh, the tapes or the records that I was used to. And I kind of bumbled along for probably a couple of years, getting very frustrated and going absolutely nowhere at that. Um, Eventually, I sort of took the leap, took a couple of lessons with a guitar teacher, learned a few basics and sort of, you know, carried on struggling from there. Um, now, back in the day when you wanted to go out and try and do something with with a band, you stuck an ad out in, depending on what kind of music you're into, New Musical Express or Melody Maker or Sounds here in the UK. And being into rock music, I went out the sounds route. And eventually I met up with a guy who became a very good friend over all of those years, um, a very talented guitar player. And to this day, one of my favorite rock players out there, a guy called Sebastian Molino. And Seb really took me under his wing. He was he's a few years younger than I am, but he took me under his wing and he was, by my standards, a very, very advanced player. And, you know, he got me started. He showed me, he got me playing my first complete songs. And eventually we went out and we did our first gigs together. And, you know, over the years, we've been in various bands together and done various bits and pieces. But the, the beginnings kind of set in there because he was so good that everything that I did was always going to be very secondary to that. He was great at working stuff out. I wasn't, you know, a bit of a tin ear. Um, he was fast. He was fluid. He was expressive. All of those things that we all so want to be when we play guitar. And he just seemed to have it. And the secret, you know, the thing that I think always kind of got to me was that he seemed to have it so easily, so naturally. And of course, that ease and naturalness came from the fact that he practiced hours and hours and hours and hours and hours a week on doing this stuff. He was absolutely dedicated to his guitar and he made it look so easy. And there's the rub. He made it look so easy and I was struggling every step of the way. So eventually I went out and did some other things and I started buying guitar magazines, learning from Tab. The internet came along learning from Tab. And, you know, I got to a point where I kind of started to get an idea of how to do some of this stuff. But even to, so, to this day, I still meet and mingle with great guitar players and sit there and think, I shouldn't even be in the same room. I shouldn't be in the same town, the same county as these guys. And uh, last year, I went out and I thought, right, I'm going to set up this site. I'm going to call it The Mortal Guitarist because it's basically for those of us who struggle with playing this thing, you know, those of us who are not and never will be, let's face it, the gods of playing guitar. And I made an introductory video. I put it up on YouTube. I built a website, didn't put a lot of content on it. And then I joined in with a couple of um, forums and communities online and found out that this, this audience that I thought was going to be like that big for people like myself is actually absolutely massive. Um, it's made up of people who are literally just beginning the lifetime journey of learning to play this thing, um, all the way through to guys who've been playing for decades, who put it down and walked away in disgust, and then kind of come back in middle age and want to pick it up and try and make something of it. And basically, there are a lot of people who have the same problems over and over and over and over again. So, you know, these, these are the people like myself, and we're not really too concerned about playing lightning speed shred arpeggios, because that is just 
in a different universe to where a lot of us sort of spend our time living. But what we are after doing is learning the basics and getting to a point where we can actually express ourselves and do something useful with this beloved thing, this guitar. So that's what this site is going to be about. Now, originally, I didn't intend to have a lesson site because, you know, the Internet's been out there for so long. Search guitar lessons online and you'll find thousands, tens of thousands of people, qualified instructors, guys who've been to MIT and Git and all of these things, who can teach you fantastically advanced stuff. And, and I'm not about doing that. So originally, I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at some approaches to getting to play the guitar. And, and I'm figuring that I've maybe got sort of three streams to go down. Um, one is like basic theories, because I see people struggling on the first hurdle of what what is music is is really the first thing that so many people kind of fall over themselves on and they go along filling in bits, bits and pieces without having a framework without having any skeleton to hang their knowledge onto so you get folks who are saying i don't know how to do this and you're thinking actually you do know how to do that you just don't realize that you know how to do it so i'm thinking you know a, a framework of very basic fundamental music theory which may be a bit different to anything that you've heard before um, which will just give something to hang the guitar playing onto um, the next thing is and, and i just can't get away from this there are there are so many basic things like basic chord types basic chord shapes basic scale patterns and so on which it would be silly to not cover because then it would be like, okay, stop now and go and find this somewhere else. And when you've done it, come back. So I will cover some really basic stuff like that. And the third part is, is almost like the performance aspect of it. And this is one of the, the very under um, represented aspects of learning to play guitar, I think, that's out there. Um, and in this, I'm going to cover things like what practices, how to practice, how to make effective use of practice, but also things like you know, when, when you're playing on stage, so it, it's great when you start off playing and you sit there and you learn a few things in the privacy of your own room and then you may actually take the leap and go out and make a video of yourself and stick that out on YouTube or stick it out on the Facebook forum and say, hey guys, this is me playing such and such a piece. It's got some mistakes in it, but you know, I'd welcome people telling me what I am. But Eventually, you go out and you stand in a room with other live musicians and you will make mistakes. You're, you're going to make errors. You know, everybody does. Everybody makes mistakes. And the big difference is that when the pros make mistakes, they laugh it off and they recover it and they carry on with, you know, the, the minimum sort of impact. Um, when when we as beginners make mistakes, we, we just crash and burn. And there are ways that you can kind of... The, the steps that you can take before you go out into a into a band situation, into a rehearsal or a jam session, or before you walk out onto a stage, that when you really do get so lost, and it will happen, um, that you can recover it with you know the, the minimum impact on what everyone else is doing. So that's the sort of stuff that I want to cover as well, as well as some performance tips for actually sort of looking good and having some fun while you're out on stage. So that's the three things that I'm really hoping to kind of cover on here. Um, so I'm going to stick this video out any suggestions, any wants, any, oh, this is what I'm really struggling with, bang it down there in the comments, hit the subscribe button. You'll notice that there's other stuff on my uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, I, I run a, a recording and mixing setup, so there's stuff for the Dust Bowl audio there, and there's also um, some band videos and things like that for stuff that I've taken from gigs that I've been to. Um, but there is a playlist for the Mortal Guitarist, so if you're interested, subscribe, just check out what's on the playlist. New content going up on a fairly regular basis, and I will try and pick up on any answers people have got. I'm already aware that this has run a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. So I'll just sign off. I am Andy Picker. This is The Mortal Guitarist. Um, hit the subscribe button. Come back and see me soon for more content. And uh, have a great day.